Hey guys, welcome back. Check out this video by Michael Zuber on one reno at a time. I mean, I remember one of the hardest days of my life. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but we're on this 10 year journey, which mm -hmm. at the time we don't know is 10 years, mm -hmm. right? And so it's like year seven and we go to a housewarming party of somebody that works for me, right? So it's a direct report, right? Below in the hierarchy. And they're balling out in a brand new house, seven figures, got all the cars, all the toys, all of that. Yeah. And then we drive home and I start crying just mm -hmm. out of nowhere. It's like one of the only times it's ever happened to me. My internal whatever is just beating me up because we're sacrificing, we're cutting, we're not, we have one car, right? We're just, you don't feel like you're moving up. I think what it was is, did I do it wrong? Mm. Oh, in hindsight, it was like so close, but I mean, seven years, sacrifice. And um, I was crying. Olivia had to drive home. She took me back and showed us our finances. I don't yeah. know about you. I never looked. My yeah. job was find deals, secure capital. She ran the books. Mm. And she's like, Mike, I need to show you where we are because it's, it's clearly changed and you don't know it. <laughs> All right, Kirby. I like this video. Um, this kind of reminds me of what we do, honestly. And because we always talk about if you can see your money, you're not doing it right. And in this case, the guy didn't even know how much money he had. It's we don't care about the house we have or the cars we have or the clothes we have. We care about the money that we have in our pocket. And obviously this guy was Michael Zuber. He's made tons of sacrifices and mm -hmm. he's made enough sacrifices to where as his wife was running the books, knew that they were in a very good position. But he had no idea because he was just focused on securing deals, just making just making the money. And, you know, in his eyes, they didn't have the the fancy things in life. But that doesn't mean that they couldn't afford it, because obviously they could once he came to find out, uh, you know, what, what his books looked like. I really like this video, but I want to see what your thoughts are on this one. Uh, one, one thing I want to say, and I'm saying this. I've never met. I've never seen. Uh, I think I now somebody might correct me if I'm wrong. I think I believe her name is Olivia. That's his wife. I never seen her in my life, but I love the lady to death. And this is why. It's because most times, and I'm I'm not giving excuse to guys, but this is the truth. Guys are always out to impress women. Guys always want women to feel they're secure. It took his wife and Mike Zuber. He's, you know, he's going to somebody that reports to him house and it's a million dollars or whatever. And his wife was the one to keep him in check. In society today, that's not what it is. Usually in society, and I'm not here women bashing or nothing like that, but in society today, you know, you see women go to friends' houses and things like that, and then they say, why are we not living that lifestyle? I was so glad that there was a woman putting him in check to say, wait, you just really don't know what we have. And then, you know, I recycle back to, you know, me and my family. We've always lived well below I mean, I know people get online and say live below your means. We've always lived well below our means because only thing that we ever cared about or I ever cared about is having the ability to do. I don't want to look the part. I want to be the part. You know, that's a, a main mantra of me. So, I mean, even now, well, not now. My wife gave up on me now. Well, what I mean by what my wife gave up on me is my wife used to always ask, can we afford that? Can we do that? Because it was just strictly nose to the grindstone, focus, 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 nose to the grindstone. And then so what I did was I started putting our net worth on the board as we walk in the house. So just my wife would know, like, oh, we ain't doing nothing crazy. But it was so focused on getting it done, getting it done. And my wife was, my wife was super, you know, my wife was just focused, focused. I was a person that was out there acquiring and then nobody was spending, so we didn't have that understanding and mindset. But the sacrifice, once you, you're so focused on sacrificing, then the only thing that brings you back, I'm not going to say reality, to the world of imagination is when you go over a friend's house. Like one of the first videos we ever did to this channel, as I said, 
everybody that I know have a better house than mine. I mean, Alex, you over there living in Beverly Hills compared to me. Oh, everybody what? that I know. is a lie. <laughs> everybody <laughs> I know that have, that has a better house. And it, and then, you you know, you sit there and look at it and you, and then just as being a human, as being, you know, that being and you seeing like, yeah, they must be doing so great. But then you sit back for a second and then you sit there and listen to them and you notice they're not doing that well. And then so they spent their whole life savings on impressing other people by the house, the car, whatever that they drive. And then sometimes it made me question myself. But at the end of the day, I know I can get up and fly to any country in the world, stay at any hotel I want to in the world. Not that I'm going to do it. Just that I have the ability to do it is the key aspect and avenue of it. But Michael Zuber, he's, uh, I'm, I'm, I try to tell people, and I was even at a function last night or at a get together, we know some poker involved in it, but I told people Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, that's somebody that actually does it, that knows the nuances, knows the emotions of it knows what you go through the ups and down ebbs and flows of the emotional cycle of trying to obtain wealth stop looking at these you know high life society people that's trying to tell you to do things that don't make sense you don't know them it don't make sense so i gave out a couple names and you know zuber one rental as one rental at a time was one of the top names i gave for people to look at in the social media space because that's the true reality of it you are human, so you're going to see people that, even though that they pick in a funk, you're going to feel a little jealousy involved in it. All right, first off, guys, let me let me break the ice, okay? He's lying. Alex <laughs> lying. Kirby's house is about 300 square feet bigger than mine, okay? He's got marble countertops. I got four mica. He's got bamboo floors. <laughs> so... <laughs> Kirby's got a Kirby's got a nice place. All right, don't don't make him think he lives in the projects. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm one step away from the hood, y'all. I don't listen now. <laughs> but but you are absolutely right. Um, you know, it's it's human to like you said to see big houses, think that they're doing something right. Um, and maybe even human to think it would be nice to have nicer specs and stuff to your house or whatever it's human but the idea is with discipline those things can come if they're measured out correctly now obviously they can come if you're they're not measured out correctly but for them to fall in place without any issues caused to your livelihood with discipline of you know hey we have this much in net worth let's try to minimize you know a small percentage goes towards liabilities not towards not a large percentage you know like you mentioned uh, a friend of yours um who's very ultra wealthy um lives in an estate but it's a small percentage of his net worth and very small you know and so those are that that's the way to look at it really like kirby could afford a mansion on in tampa bay on on the water if he wants to but like we talked about in a different video like if you do that, <laughs> if you do that, you know, the the worry of, okay, now I got to really work hard just to afford the liability, not because I want to work really hard so I can buy more assets, but now I've got to work hard to keep my lifestyle. And then that just puts you in a predicament where you're constantly stressed about just living. And if you can minimize what your liabilities are on, you know, a monthly basis, to minimal compared to your income and your net worth the ability to enjoy life itself travel eat like kirby likes to do we be out there eating sushi all the time you know those things can be enjoyed without any stress at all and so you know it's really just a it's just a numbers game of okay i have this much in cash flow i can you know if i can cut down my expenses to x amount of dollars per month and my cash flow supersedes what I'm making per month, then I can enjoy the life that I want to have. And truthfully, it's like a house and a car is just a car is still going to get you point A to point B and a house is just going to give you a place to rest. So 
And Alex, you're you're one hundred percent right. I I I'd rather live in a modest house because I had the opportunity. I use the same Warren Buffett strategy, find value at a cheaper price. But I am going to eat sushi right after this video. Don't get it. <laughs> There's no question about it. Um, but that is it. That the key element of it is. Again, you want to be the part instead of look the part. Looking the part don't mean nothing. Every celebrity, athlete, everybody you know look the part. But as soon as they get down looking the part and you don't see them on TV, they're sitting there struggling. They're setting up GoFundMe accounts. They're doing all the things that because they live the life to look the part. I'd rather be the guy who have millions of dollars living in a $100,000 house then somebody who I retire, I'm making thirty thousand dollars, but I bought a million dollar house and I can't afford the maintenance. I don't want to be the person that sits there and, hey, we're gonna take a trip to let's say Japan, and I got to plan three years out. I want to say, hey, we going to Japan? Let's go find tickets and we can leave in like a week or so. Once you know everything is, we have all the business things figured out, so we can just go off the grid. That's who I want to be. I don't want to, but that's what it is. People want to be, and I see it. People want to have the big fancy, you know, they they have everybody come visit their house and things like that. But then when it's time for them to go vacation, oh yeah, we planning on vacation for uh, 2028. 2028? <laughs> I ain't even got out 2024 yet. But that's, but that's what they do. And I'm not, I'm not that person. I'd rather... I'd rather everybody think all my friends who have less money than me are more rich than me. I'm, I'm fine with that. I just want to be able to have the ability. I'm not going to do it, but have the ability to do whatever I want to do. Sometimes I want to do it. But, I mean, we still have international flights that's planned for the year and things like that. But it's not going to hurt us financially at all. We don't have to sit there and set up a, a extra savings account to make it happen. That's the world that you want to live in, not a world that everybody thinks that you're special. And that's how I look at it. That being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, leave us a comment down below, and we will see you guys in the next one.